Welcome back to the Rogue Wave podcast, the frequency for all things pop culture and rogue matter. Um, all right. One of the things that we've done before, it's one of my favorite segments. Uh, we take a movie after the fact and compare it to the trailer. Now, in this case, we only reacted to the movie last week, but it was spoiler free. So in a way, we're going to be able to kind of do a little bit of both, right? We're going to we're going to we're going to trailer truth it and trash it and see if it lived up to the to the to the uh, to the initial trailer. Did the movie live up to it. Uh, but also want to just talk about the film itself because we didn't really get a chance to do that. I hadn't had a chance to watch it last week. Uh, plus, we wanted to be spoiler free. I got to tell you, it's killing at the box office right now. And I know exactly why. It's killing at the box office because it is exactly the kind of thing we are not we have not been getting in the last few years. Everything has been saturated in some sort of, in my opinion, in some sort of politics, in some sort of message, propaganda, this or that. And this isn't. This, this has no politics propaganda in it. Right? You're saying that? I'm saying that it is a total distraction. It's a total opposite from what we've seen. The last I know. Time. I understand what you're saying, but you're saying there's no politics or propaganda in this movie. I all. would sit there and tell you there's no politics in it. There's no propaganda politics. I can understand. I can there's understand if, you know, it's pro, it's pro military, but that's the kind that's of funny part, right? That's politics, right? Mm. It's not preaching though. It's not preaching any, any, anything. That's, that wasn't the criteria, right? It, there, you said there's no politics in it. You said there's no politics or propaganda in it. Yeah, th it's it's, but it's not making a political statement. It's not right. You so don't no think politics. it is. I would say there's no politics in it. It's not making a political statement. It's not making a political statement. Go, it, a case movie in point. about the military destroying a military target is not a political statement because you don't know who they're actually destroying against. It doesn't they matter. Make it, they made it specifically that there is no enemy, that there is just quote unquote an enemy. So. There, it would saying, be different just, if they're like. I just find it if, fascinating. You don't believe there's any politics in it. What's that? Okay, I find it fascinating. You you don't believe there's any politics in it. Okay, we talked about this offer. I could sit there and say propaganda. I could I could understand Mil propaganda in the sense of like military might and 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 a postcard of for the navy in that sense, right? I could I could I could absolutely see that being uh, propaganda. I think it's the opposite propaganda that we see normally. So I think that's that's speaking to people. That's speaking to the public. But I could agree with you on that. The political statement, though, I don't see any political statements in this. I don't see any politics in this. But if you're a pacifist, if your politics is passivity, then that's a political statement. Then dropping a bomb on something is a political statement. That's a difference of policy. If you if you if you feel mm -hmm. that might make trite, that's a political statement. Doesn't necessarily I mean think it's you're, wrong. You're grasping for straws, then, just on the word politics, though. I mean. I, I would say that everybody complaining that everything else is politics is grasping at straws. Mm, yeah, I disagree on that. I, I, I would do. think that I would think that you'd have to. Do you again, believe that? Do you believe that passivity or being a pacifist is a political belief? Is it? But political? there's a but there's a sense of urgency. There's a there's a, a bunch of uranium that's immediately there. You know, understood, that's going to be used to blow up stuff. We have to stop it. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a pretty clear you, cut. Do you believe that passivity or someone who is uh, who is anti-violence? Yeah. Do you believe that's a political belief of some people? No, that's a personal belief. You don't believe there's politics behind being anti-violent. I don't think there's political statements on that. There can be, but I don't think that, that you don't believe there are any. There's no pacifist political statement at all that ever. Exists. No, no. But but okay. If you believe you're a, if you are a pacifist, you either are or not, right? You're either a pacifist or you're not a pacifist, right? You're you're or or you're but those, a pacifist those are politics, some things. right? Those are those are politics. No, that's that's a personal belief. It's not uh, what it, what do you think politics are? Politics are when I when I use the word politics, I mean you're you're not actually going out there and giving a statement saying that you're you for this someone, or against this this was pretty clear cut there was violence. a sense of there was impending danger you need to we need to go do something uh and we have to do this there there, there is no there is no we should or we shouldn't or, or they weren't even arguing about it there were there was no arguments about it it was just this is what we have to do because this is going to result in the end of the world if we don't so the political belief of this of the film is that there's no such thing as pacifism no where do you get that because from? Because they don't even discuss it. They don't even they don't even talk about it as though it happens, right? That's it that it's a thing. That, that there if are people out passive, there that don't believe if we're passive if we're passive on it, that the uranium that they're that they're producing is not gonna be turned into a nuclear weapon and used 
to destroy one no, of our no, allies? No, no. I you're, mean, you're, you're getting mixed up in, in something that's completely different. I'm going on, we're just, we're just going to clear this out before it turns into a furball. Okay. I'm going on the fact that you said there's no politics in the story at all in the film. There's no political statements, put it that way. Political statement. In your opinion, but I would say it was not core to the central message. There was no messaging. Opinion. I don't think you're I don't think you're paying attention to a lot of the chatter out there. It is not just my opinion. Oh, I know, I know. I see that. And I think that's exactly what what I kind of laugh and I chuckle. We can about. we can argue about you know, the argument can be made whether it's an agreeable political statement or not. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Or whether it's a it's a serious mm -hmm. political statement or not. But to say that it's making no political statement at all is inaccurate. That's an inaccurate. That's I would say the politics are not at the heart of the movie at all. It the movie is a political. All right, never mind. No, but it's not. It's literally it is. not. It is it's literally military, you have any any military movie is a political statement. If you want to view it that way. No, no, no. It is just like any movie about anti-military is a political statement. Any anything that is a statement about something, about a way of life, at about what something point, to do, at what is point do the characters argue this though? At what point do the characters sit there and say, when "We is, need to, you is, know, should we bomb them? Should we not bomb them? Is it right to bomb them? Is it wrong to bomb politics. them?" They're not. They're not having a discussion. There's when no political arguing, discussion. Yeah, but when is arguing politics mean it is political? Politics doesn't need to be argued to be political. Politics are politics. Mm -hmm. You don't need to argue the, the validity of, of someone's political belief to have discussion about it. It just needs to be present. If that's the case, then any move you make in any walks of life, military, non-military, there's politics everywhere we walk. Yes. And, that's and I actually truth. disagree with that statement of because most people do. are not actually thinking that the actions they are taking have any kind of political messaging. Or it depends on what them. your definition, which I think is the heart of this problem. It depends on what your definition of politics are. I'm using the the I'm using the dictionary definition of politics. What's you're saying that there are the there's no such definition of politics? Huh? What's the dictionary definition? It's the uh, the, the politics is is an. Uh, prevailing any prevailing ideology that you have that you live that you enforce or you live by mm -hmm. so what's a prevailing ideology of the military that's a political that's that's a political lifestyle yeah but it's not in i mean i'm not watching this movie thinking about ideologies i'm not thinking about you don't have to be that's that's the that's nature it's so great that's the nature of propaganda is that sometimes you'll get a political statement and not even know you've gotten one I did notice that after the film got I'm not, out, I, I'm not arguing the merits of the politics of the movie. I just think it's funny that you don't think that it is that, that a military movie has any politics in it at all. That's what I find is funny. That's it, that's very interesting. But anyway, okay. Well, what what do you think about the film? Well, I think it's I think it's it's perfect for what we need right now, which is a distraction. It's just people who have a it's it's where we we have a goal. We have to do something. There's a dire consequence if we don't. There's challenges that come up. And let's go and get it. And it, and it's just you make it knows when to be nostalgic. It knows when not to be nostalgic. Mm -hmm. um, it knows when to you know to kind of update certain things and modernize things. Um, mm -hmm. But at no point, you know, are the characters the characters just simply look. These are the best pilots in the world, and they have a job to do. Um, and that's and that's refreshing. It's nice. It's not. It's nice not to have to walk out of the theater feeling bad about yourself, or feeling bad about the world, or feeling bad in general. And they do it in a way because they don't identify who the enemy is. And that actually is, to me, the, 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 the reason this works. There is just an enemy. It just tells you, look, we're just setting up something so we can showcase how awesome pilots flying awesome maneuvers getting into a mission. And that, to me, is like, okay, great. I don't have to think about this. So when you say there's no politics in it, or when, sorry, when I say there's no politics in it, if you choose to walk into that theater and then walk out of it, that's fine. That's on you. I don't think the movie's really trying Who's to, to say that you, you can hate the politics. I, the argument isn't uh, you go in there and you are oh, I'm being I'm being bombarded by politics. That's not the argument. The argument is that there's no politics in this at all. And it's beautiful because that's not correct. That's in that. That's an inaccuracy. OK, that's all I'm saying. All right. I, don't, I don't care. I, I, I don't really have political foibles. I don't mind getting get receiving or 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 understanding a message that someone's trying to give me, it doesn't bother me. So yeah. I don't care about the politics, but I do identify what is politics and what is not politics. Well, that was and the funny so thing though. What I did read about it after though, is that Hollywood is both 
you know, joyous that it's doing so well at the box office, but then cringing because it's pro-military. Um, you uh, know, it's pro, it, it's politically you know. military. It's a politics. It's jingoistic. If you choose, if you choose to think that, then yes, it's it's not a. It, it, the movie is a jingoistic movie. It's not that that's not a bad thing, but it is what calling it is calling it what it is is not misapplying some kind of uh, uh, hysteria on it. I just, knowing, I would I wouldn't even I would never even think to walk out of there in anything except just boy that was that you, was would you say it's a pro American movie? Uh, I yes I would think it, it obviously is it, it it shines America in a good light. I'm not going to disagree with you on that. And but I don't walk the, around being like, man, I'm glad they watched that movie because now I'm pro American. Uh, I'm you know they really were hammering home that America is this great place. You don't think it they really did? Wasn't, it it didn't deal with any of that stuff. It, it you don't it was you, never you, a question of should we do this mission or not do this mission. It was more like here's a mission we've got to accomplish this. That's what confuses me. You think politics is the argument of one ideology versus another. You yes. don't you don't think that one prevailing ideology is actually politics. That's what's the the disconnect. Okay. Well, then there was no political arguing in there. There was no walking That's out of there. That's a fair question. Having no one argument. questioned any other point of view other than drop a bomb on it. So, yes, you're absolutely right. They're all in black, though, man. They were, you know, you couldn't see their faces, man. They're evil, clearly. Yes, and the, the ideology of the movie is they're evil, so we drop a bomb on them. Sometimes it's it's as clear as that. <laughs> it's as clear as that. Sometimes what's as clear as that? I'm joking. That's a, That was a joke. Okay. It's a joke. It's All right. Here's the real question. Did it live up to the trailer? So we're going to do a little truth or trash. Top Gun 2, truth or trash. Uh, let's – very simple. Run. We'll run the trailer. We'll take a look. Did it give you what you were expecting? All right. There's a desert. It's very calm right now. Oh, oh. The airplane. Oh, we're going to see a lot of fighter jets. Citation. We don't even know that's a fighter jet yet. Shoot down three enemy yeah, you could sort of, you could sort of, that blur. Not that little I don't know what that is. That, that's a, we have no idea what, now we know it's a fighter jet. All right, now I know. Definitely. It's, well, you know what? My suspicions now, now were we, confirmed. Now we're absolutely certain it's a fighter we're, jet. My suspicions were confirmed. Time to target. You know, they basically ripped off, by the way, they ripped off the Star Wars. <laughs> you know, the, the closing sequence of the Death Star was essentially, my dad texted me that. I was like, yeah, you know what? They did. I still didn't care. I still didn't care. I just, I was so impressed yeah, with just are. the yeah, we're talking about the trailer, though. The like, okay, so obviously, obviously there's something wrong with Maverick. The the, the generals and the admirals and the, the brass still don't like Maverick. So yeah, clearly, Maverick's still, oh, he, he's that. There's, there's uh, afterburners, and then there's Maverick in his cockpit. And I take no. Push the throttle forward. Cruise, there's a lot of forward throttle in the film, yeah. apparently. This is all Tom Cruise. That's a lie. <laughs> it's not true. That's a jacket. That is a uh, trivia. That is the same jacket he wore in the first movie. And the I think it's the same guy. bike. I don't know if it's the same bike. I know that, 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 that this, it's a trivia piece that he's actually wearing. Because Bruckheimer kept the jacket, so Bruckheimer donated the jacket for the movie. And so he's the exact same movie. age he was. In All right, the... he's, yes, he's fighting. <laughs> okay, someone dies. There's a funeral. He has not, he has not aged. He's fighting other pilots. Now now they're they're all flying somewhere together. I, I doubt it's to go to get a burger. Yeah. All right. And look, there is a Death Star Trench. So yep. there are Death Star Trenching. And he's upside. Yep. He's inverted. He likes inversion. He likes inverted. I've noticed that that's his, that's his move, right? That's his yeah, go-to that's move. his thing. That's his thing to be upside down. So Can you really do that with a plane? Yes. I guess you can, right? Yes. It's called inverted. You know? Yeah. And there are aileron rolls. So, yeah, that, that, is a, that is a possibility. And that's F-14 Some for some reason. Strange. <laughs> Strange that F-14 is in the movie. That And F-14s have been out of service, out of, out of naval service, I think, since 2002. We haven't used the F-14. So. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know why the F-14 is in that trailer. That must be something. That'll be a thing. Well, I think we were talking about this uh, off air too, though, right? Like it's it's almost a tale of two movies. There, there's yes. like three fourths of the way. There's, there's like you're basically getting Top Gun, and then all of a sudden you get like behind enemy lines, and it's it's like a whole you know, the whole other thing. Yeah, but, it's very spoilery, but I mean, yeah, at the end they kind of tack on this uh, this this we must we must infiltrate base kind of thing where we yeah. see more faceless villains 
Yes. They're, they actually land and they go on the base and but still all the villains have no faces. That's the beauty of the movie. It doesn't let you think about it. It doesn't have you. because Yes, it allows the audience to place any villain that they want in the face of those exactly. villains. That's a, exactly. That's a, that's a great thing. I actually like that because you're not going to, again, you're not going to walk out and sit there and say, oh, I can't believe they said this or I can't believe they did this. It's just, there's an enemy. That's it. You don't have to think very hard. You just go. So your in. guy doesn't like to get any messages in his in his paraphernalia, then, right? You don't want to read books for themes. You don't want to. You don't want to watch shows for underlying. Uh, uh, it, it, you don't believe that there should be underlying themes in a film. You should. You think everybody should have a goal, accomplish the goal, not argue about whether they should or shouldn't accomplish said goal. Uh, you know, get it done, come home, and then credits. That's what you I think. think that I think there is an oversaturation of of messaging in movies and in TV and you, shows. you don't think you think that's a new phenomenon you don't think that ever used to be a thing I think I think the phenomenon of it being oversaturated is 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 more prevalent I think that if you watch the caliber of movie in like the 2000s um, or the caliber of TV show I think there's a stark difference in what you're seeing um, both in settings of TV shows in movies of TV shows as uh, in movies sorry in TV shows and movies um, I think that but you there's a lot more there's... movies with specific messaging. Um, know, that's I... not that's not underlying either. I think it's more blatant. I think there's more blatant messaging in movies. But you don't think there's overwhelming messaging in this movie? No, I don't. I think they go out of their way to make sure that it's as neutral as possible. Well, yes, I understand. Anything where the where the military is not seen in a bad light. I'm not even talking promo. about a bad light. I'm just saying the military way of life is a is a message, right? The, the the military might is a message the 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 utilization of of coordinated might but the characters a, don't a, ever talk about that the character and and the, the they, core conflicts the of the movie are never about but that the character in the characters engage in it they don't need to talk about it they're doing it they're living it so why do they need to talk about it to make it something real because then it becomes part of the storyline and part of the plot but what they do is part of the story and the plot yeah, but they but they're not actually discussing like there's no there's no character in there discussing whether or not they should do this or not. Why is that not politics then? I don't understand why that that is a criteria for whether it is or isn't political. Because then the characters are not it's it, you're not actually I, I I can repeat myself but you can't you just won't accept the answer. Like I just think that if they I keep are, asking if, if it's you part a question, of the core of the movie I keep asking you a question. You're never answering the question. Answer I don't know. it every single time. The the characters don't discuss it, so it's not it's not there as a as a question for us as an audience to have to address. If you choose to want to address it on your own, that's fine. But there's never a point where one of the characters is like, "Boy, should we be doing this?" It's no, we need to do this. There, that's that's what it comes down to. Now, again, if you want to take that outside of what is given to you in the film. And have a political discussion in your mind outside of that, that's fine. But that's not a core point for any of the characters. Right? No, right, but sure. We'll we'll stop it there. That's not right. You mean the characters you mean the characters do discuss it then? And it becomes part of the plot line of whether or not they should or shouldn't do this then. Because I didn't well, see that in the movie. Well, there's a plot line of whether they can or can't do it. Right, but that has nothing to do with should or shouldn't. That that has none, that that has to do with the technical. Should or, should or shouldn't has nothing to do with politics, though. But I, it absolutely does. If you're deciding whether or not your ideology should be pacifism versus aggression, then do you, do you, and that you becomes the pol that becomes the political argument of the movie and the messaging of the movie, and then the way the hero decides to do something is ultimately what the writer's decision is for what right. the ideology should be. Okay. But that doesn't ever happen. You, in the movie. You're, so, so you're saying you have you you can have a political belief, but it doesn't become a political belief unless someone questions your political belief. You can have personal beliefs well, about personal things. beliefs can be we're, we're, we've already established that personal beliefs can be are are basically your personal politics, our politics in general, right? Um, but your personal but, politics are different though than than like politics in general at large. But right? you're saying that something is not political unless someone questions the policy of it. I'm saying that within the film, they are not having the the politics, quote unquote, are not being addressed in it so that there are, because there are no politics being addressed by the characters. It's not a core to the central plot of the movie. 
the plot of the movie is no one's questioning it. I know they I, un they understand it. They they agree with it. So you're I, not actually having a political debate or discussion yeah. within the confines of the movie. Right, you you're kind of moving the goalposts because all I said. I always was say you, that, but I'm just basically because you said question. you said there were no politics in the film. I'm just saying, how is it that there are no politics in the film? That's all I'm saying. You to move the goalpost to well, they don't discuss it, so you're not getting a message. So therefore, it's not political. That's a completely different thing that we were talking about, and this is where we always get into these furballs that get uh, that that get out of hand. So you're misunderstanding what I'm saying, which is okay. fine. And so we'll leave it there. All right. What do you guys think? Did it live up to the trail? Oh, by the way, are we truth and trash in it? It's trash because it said 2020. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's trash because the movie is way better than the trailer. That trailer was weak sauce. Oh my god! I know because it was only a teaser. But I don't know it's that official trailer. I know, but if you go in and you 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 do tr the second trailer is like two minutes. That movie was like that. That trailer was like a half a minute or yeah. maybe like a minute ten. Google like the real trailer is like two minutes. To official trailer. That's the one that comes up. It's fine. That's it. But I remember that was the teaser. That wasn't yeah, the trailer. Maybe. I remember that being the teaser. Either. Huh? It didn't come out in 2020. Yeah, so that's why I'm saying it's a lie. Do you think the movie do you think the movie set in 2020 though? Probably. Yeah. So all this already happened. Universe 2020, right? I'm sorry? An alternate universe 2020. It probably happened in 2019 because nobody in the movie was wearing yeah. a mask. Yeah, probably. All right. What did you guys think? What did you think of Top Gun? What did you think of the of the um, trailer versus the movie? <laughs> we'll we uh we will comment in the Facebook feed and the uh we'll get back to you as well. When we come back, we put a bow on tonight's episode. Hi guys, Mike Dolce here from the Rogue Wave Podcast. If you like this video, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. It really helps us out. Leave a comment, let us know what you'd like to see in future episodes, and tune in every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, for a brand new episode of the Rogue Wave Podcast.